Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Google Cloud. Our viewer has a question about connecting an Elixir application running in the Google App Engine flexible environment to a PostgreSQL server hosted on Google Cloud SQL. They've successfully deployed their application inside a Docker container, but they're facing a frustrating issue with the database connection. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore how to resolve it. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. To connect your Elixir application running on Google App Engine to your PostgreSQL server on Google Cloud SQL, we need to ensure that the Cloud SQL proxy is properly configured. First, verify that your App Engine service account has the necessary permissions to access your Cloud SQL instance. You can do this by checking the IAM settings in the Google Cloud Console. Next, you need to set the connection string in your Elixir application. Use the following format for your database configuration in the config file. Make sure to replace username, password, and DB name with your actual database credentials. Also, ensure that the Cloud SQL instance is set to allow connections from your App Engine instance. Finally, if you continue to encounter connection errors, check your Cloud SQL instance settings to ensure that the instance is running and that the network settings allow connections from App Engine. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user is facing issues connecting a Phoenix Elixir app to Google Cloud SQL while migrating from Container Engine to App Engine Flexible Environment. They mention that the hostname format used in their PHP app doesn't work for Elixir. They attempted to use the Cloud SQL instance's IP address directly, but that also failed. In their app YAML file, they set environment variables for database connection. In the staging.exs configuration file, they set up the database connection using environment variables for the username, password, and hostname. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.